earthly riches will not last. Hear this, all ye people. Give ear, all ye inhabitants of the world, both low and high, rich and poor, together. My mouth shall speak of wisdom, and the meditation of my heart shall be of understanding. I will incline mine ear to a parable. I will open my dark saying upon the heart. Wherefore should I fear in the days of evil, when the inequity of my hills shall compass me about? They that trust in their wealth and boast themselves in the multitude of their riches, none of them can by any means redeem his brother, nor give to God a ransom for him. For the redemption of their souls is precious, and it ceases forever that he should still live forever and not see corruption. For he seeth that wise men die, like wise the fool and the brutish person perish and leave their wealth to others. Their inward thoughts is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. Nevertheless, man being in honor abided not he is like the beast that perish. This their way is their folly, yet their prosperity approve their sins. Slilah, like sheep, they are laid in the grave that shall feed on them, and the upright shall have dominion over them in the morning, and their beauty shall consume in the grave from their dwelling. But God will redeem my soul from the power of the grave, for he shall receive me, Selah. Be not thou afraid when one is made rich, when the glory of his house is increased. For when he dieth, he shall carry nothing away. <clears throat> his glory shall not descend after him. Though while he lived, he blessed his soul, and men will praise thee, when thou doest well to thyself, he shall go to the generation of his fathers. They shall never see light. Man that is in honor and understanding not is like the beast that perish. <clears throat>